Diego Armando Maradona has passed away. A cardiac arrest. Thousands of people in Naples, Buenos Aires and other cities went to the streets to honor the memory of the great footballer. In Argentina, a three-day mourning period has been declared and in Naples, the Napoli Stadium will be named after the legend. The day of November 25. The tears and songs praising the greatness of the genius. Seems like the citizens of Naples are gonna be up all night between November 25th and 26th. Diego Armando Maradona. He has done so much. A special moment of his life will always be the 1986 World Cup when he was unbeatable. The hand of God, masterpiece goals and assists, and as a result, the recognition of the best player of the tournament as far as he lifts the World Cup over his head. It can't be erased from our memory. No way. Absolutely no way of that happening. How to honor the memory of such a great man with dignity? Of course, with good words and stories. And that is what today's video is about. It just so happened that Maradona gave his last interview to the Argentinian newspaper Clarín, and the spoken words perfectly described the main life values of one of the best footballers in the history of the number one game. This interview happened a few days before Diego was admitted to the hospital in La Plata in early November. He was diagnosed with subdural hematoma. Maradona underwent brain surgery. He was discharged from the hospital on November 11. Furthermore, the state of health deteriorated and on the night of November 24-25, the ambulances were seen near Maradona's house. Then, tragic news followed. In his last interview, Diego seemed very emotional and vulnerable. He talked a lot about his love to football and thanked its influence. Sometimes I wonder if people will still love me. I will be forever grateful to them. They surprise me every day, to be fair. What I experienced after returning to Argentinian football, I will never forget it. Here, Diego is talking about his last football career period, a return to coaching the Argentinian club Gimnasia y Esgrima. This comeback has exceeded all my expectations. I was away from home for a long time and I doubted whether people will love me as much as before. When I entered the pitch of the Gimnasia Stadium, I felt that people's love for me wouldn't end. I'm back and I'm very happy. Football gave me everything I have. This is more than I could ever have imagined. And if I didn't have that addiction, I could play much more. Diego had two harmful addictions, alcohol and drugs. Maradona retired from football at the age of 37. Today my addictions are in the past, now I'm fine. Most of all I regret that I have no parents. I always make one wish, one more day with Tota. That's the way Diego called his mother, Dalma Salvador Franco. But I know she's there, in heaven, and she's proud of me. I'm sure she's happy. Maradona believes and hopes for a bright future for Argentine nation. Diego comes from a poor family and that is why he wanted to see his compatriots happy and healthy. I want all Argentinians to be healthy. We have a wonderful country and I hope that our president will get our nation out of this difficult coronavirus crisis. I'm very sad when I see children starving. I know how it feels. I know how it is not eating for several days. This shouldn't happen in Argentina. It's my wish to see Argentinians happy. I want every Argentinian to have a job and to have a possibility to feed his family. The end of the interview. Of course, we don't want to stop at that exact spot and say goodbye to you. Therefore, here's the story that impressed us the most. Back in 1984, Diego was at the high point of his performances. Maradona just moved from Barcelona to Naples. Big hopes were pinned on the 23-year-old striker. And Napoli's leadership got scared when the curly Argentinian volunteered to play in a charity match to help a sick child in need of an expensive operation. According to the rumors, the club banned Maradona from playing the match, to which Diego responded by the willingness to pay his own insurance in case of injury. 
The match took place in the outskirts of Naples, on a bumpy pitch where you could easily get an injury. Diego warmed up in a parking lot and started playing just like his life was dependent on it. This was the whole character of Diego Maradona, playing like for the last time. And we want to finish with this amazing video. Diego Maradona's legendary warm-up before the Bayern vs Napoli match on April 19, 1989. In those days, the Austrian band Opus tore the world apart with their hit Life is Life. Diego performed a series of exercises to the beat of the music, juggling his knees, head, chest and shoulders, smiling at the numbed crowd. It looked so easy and so natural, as if everyone could do the same if they wanted. Maradona gave us one of the most iconic moments in football history. A masterpiece, one might say. This is the best warm-up in football history. And this is the way we want to remember Diego Armando Maradona cheerful, relaxed, and the one that gives people pleasure and smiles. Life is life, friends. Take care. Bye-bye.